Hi everybody, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today we're going to be transforming from an everyday work look to a party look in just five minutes. So if you're interested in figuring out what products I use and how I do it in such a short space of time, then please keep watching. Okay, so the party season is upon us. Yes! And a lot of people go to their work's do's straight from work and have a very short amount of time, maybe even in the work's toilet, to get their glam on and make sure they get out of the door and they're on time for their work's do. So this is a really, really quick glam look. Quick. This is not going to be full, full glam, glam, glam but it's gonna be really nice and it's gonna be really quick. So let's get cracking. Okay, so let me just talk you through the products that I've actually put on for my work look. This will only work if you choose a foundation with a high longevity because you need your foundation to still be perfect. There will be no time to reapply foundation before you go out the door. It's just gonna take far too long because everything will need to be redone if you're applying foundation. So the foundation that I'm wearing today is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. It's not cakey like the normal double wear can actually get, even though I absolutely love the double wear. And if you have oily skin, I highly recommend going for the original double wear. If you've got combo to dry skin, Highly recommend the Double Wear Light. This is absolutely amazing and really does stay put throughout the day. But just in case this moved slightly throughout the day, which generally it doesn't, but just to add a little bit more longevity, I have powdered my face using the RCMA No Color Powder. I wouldn't normally need to do that with this, but I just wanted to protect the foundation and make sure that it lasted for a really long amount of time. So I have got the RCMA powder on as well on top of this foundation. I've also got the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's one of my ride or die concealers. It sets, it doesn't move, it doesn't go into creases. It's just absolutely amazing. So I've got that on today as well. I've also used the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown to do my brows. If you're anything like me, brows take a while because I like to make sure they look as natural as possible, even though I'm practically drawing them on. So. I definitely wouldn't have chance to do this in the five minutes that I've got a little bit later on. So I always like to make sure that I've done those first thing in the morning. Not that I would go out without my brows anyway, I'm just saying. But there's nothing wrong with going out without brows. Nothing at all. That's your thing, fair enough. I've also got the Lashtopia Mascara by Bare Minerals. This is not my ride or die. This is a really, really nice mascara, but my ride or die Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 is constantly out of stock. So if I had a choice, I would have the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 on, but I didn't, I don't have any, it's gone. So I'm using the Bare Minerals Lashtopia today and it's really nice. Just to warm the look up a little bit, I've got some of the Body Shop Matte Bronzer on. And I've also got the Body Shop blusher on in like a nice little corally colour there. And to make sure that everything is set in place and just make sure that it lasts for a really long amount of time, I've got some of the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay. This is a great setting spray, highly recommend it. There are some others on the market that are cheaper, but I've never had a bad makeup day when I've had this on my face. It's fantastic. I highly recommend checking your foundation throughout the day. You need to make sure it's standing up to the tests of the day. Make sure there are no oils coming through and if there are, just blot those off a little bit and maybe add a little bit of powder. Not too much because you don't want it to get cakey, but you do want your foundation to still look flawless by the end of the day. Now, I never have a problem when I use this particular foundation, especially when I use it with a setting spray and some powder on top. So I'm not worried about my foundation, but if you're using a different foundation, just make sure that it's still holding up at lunchtime. And again, a few times throughout the day. Just make sure that it's going to last. Okay, so this is the end of the work day and you've got five minutes to get your glam on before heading out the door. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of a tissue and blot all the excess oils off my skin, if I have any. And once I've done that, I'm gonna take the Revlon Colorstay Powder. This will also add a little bit of coverage. So if you've gone for more of a dewy foundation during the day and you want a little bit more coverage for your evening look and make it a little bit more matte, 
this will also do that and I'm just going to add this where I need it the last thing you want is to look like a cakey mess for a party so just add this where you need it that's pretty much it for me then I'm going to go straight into eyes we're not going to have a really exaggerated eye eyes take a really long time to do well they do for me anyway I like to take my time over eyes so if I only have five minutes to get ready I like to do a natural eye and more of an exaggerated lip so I'm going to take the Morphe 15N palette which has some lovely colours in there we're only going to use two of these colours today so I'm going to use the shade Custom and I'm also going to use the shade Editorial which is this shade here so we're going to go for more of a muted brown look today I'm going to take my fluffy crease brush this is a 228 from Zoeva I'm going to go into the shade Custom which is the lightest shade in the palette I'm just going to get my straight edge this is a great tool if you are in a rush straight edge make sure that you have a natural face you're not doing this make sure you've got a natural face when you're placing your straight edge down and just place it on like that and we're going to do it really quite nice and quickly we're just going to go across the top because we have literally no time at all I'm going to go straight in there I'm going to do the same on the other side then we're going to go straight into the shade editorial which is this shade here making sure you knock off all the excess product and I'm just going to apply that to the outer V just to exaggerate that a little bit it will lift the eye a little bit I'm really not keeping an eye on the clock so I'm hoping <laughs> I'm on time with this I have practiced this a couple of times before which I recommend that you do just to make sure that you can do this in the time because there's nothing worse than looking half done because you just don't feel confident okay so once I've done that I'm just gonna run over the top and just make sure everything's blended together I've chosen products today that are really really difficult to mess up so instead of going for a liquid liner which if you get it wrong you've ruined the entire look and you've got to start again from scratch I'm going for more of a coal eyeliner which is very very difficult to get wrong okay so that is it for the eyeshadows kept it really really simple so that we can be very quick without making a mess I'm gonna take a Kajal liner from Rimmel this is in the shade blazing bronze and I'm just gonna pop that on the top lash line you can be really really quick with this you do not have to be precise at all and then you can smudge that out so don't worry if you've made a mess the smudging of this with maybe a cotton bud q-tip will make it all better so if you are not great at putting liner on don't worry about it just get the liner on and then just smudge it out with your q-tip blazing brand also has a little bit of sparkle in there as well so it just adds to that party look which is really really beautiful I'm gonna take one of the superstay liners in black and I'm just going to tight line the top waterline just to make my lashes look a little bit thicker So I know I said we were done with eyeshadows but at this stage if you feel like you've got enough time you can always dip into the shade editorial again and just smoke out the bottom waterline I always think smoking out the bottom waterline really does make for more of an evening look and it really does transform a day look to an evening look really nicely
Then I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to take one of the new products from Lottie London. This is part of their eye foil range and it's really a clear gel with lots of silver glitter in there. It's very, very subtle if you put the tiniest amount on the lid. What I recommend is that you take off as much of the gel as possible so that you're not putting on masses of product and just pat that on the eyelid in the center. It's so pretty, this product. It really is. And you're just leaving bits of glitter on the lid. Once this dries down, it does not budge. It really is nice. It does smell like glue though, which is slightly off-putting. And I put this on a bare eyelid the other day and it stung a bit which isn't a good sign, but on top of eyeshadow, I don't have a problem with it. Try not to keep applying layer after layer of this because you will end up rubbing off what you've already applied and it will start to look a little bit patchy. So it's really lovely, it's really subtle, just pat it on and let it dry and leave it alone. Okay, so although I applied mascara this morning, I didn't apply masses of it, so I am gonna apply a little bit more mascara to those top lashes because I like quite an exaggerated lash look. And then I'm also going to go back into my bronzer and just make sure that my face is nicely bronzed up. We're just gonna go over that really, really quickly. And also the blush as well, just to make sure. I do think I've got enough blush on, but at this point, I would add more blush if it had come off throughout the day. The Body Shop one's really, really good, by the way, for longevity. It stays on really, really long time. So I'm just going to go into a highlighting palette and just dust a little bit over the tops of the cheekbones to create a little bit more of an exaggerated look. You can completely skip this stage if you don't want to exaggerate any fine lines and wrinkles that are around there because powder highlighters tend to do that. You could apply a liquid highlighter if you wanted to and just dab that on the skin if that's what you want to do. I'm gonna go into the lightest shade and just put a little bit of sparkle on those inner corners. Okay, so to finish off this look, we're going to go for a dramatic party lip. This lipstick will make you look like you've spent an hour on your makeup. It will look amazing. Now, I've chosen to use a liquid lip because liquid lips dry down a lot quicker. So you can skip the liner phase, which will save you a lot of time. It will also save you a lot of time throughout the night because you're not constantly having to reapply your lipsticks because this will stay on. It will not budge. Even after eating, your lips will still look absolutely perfect. Now, what says party more than a dramatic red lip? Usually I shy away from red. I'm more of a nude girl and the browns and the pinks. But I went into Smashbox the other day and I just couldn't resist this one. This is called Maneater and it's in their metallic liquid lip range and it's absolutely stunning and really sets the party scene. I also really like the applicators that come with the Always On Liquid Lips from Smashbox. They're really, really easy to use. They're user-friendly, they're quite flexible, not too hard, and you can get a really precise line. So I really, really like the ones from Smashbox. These do dry down really, really quickly, which is a plus, but it's also can be a negative because it can dry your lips out a little bit. I am gonna apply a tiny bit of gloss on the top of this, but if you're like my mum and you absolutely hate the feeling of having dry lips, they do another version of this that's not in their always on lip range. It's more of a gloss. It's the same result. It's got lots of sparkle in it and it's the same color, but you won't get that dryness. You will have to apply it throughout the night though, because it won't stay on all night like this one will.
how fantastic is that? I absolutely love this shade. In fact, I think I'll be wearing it quite a lot over the Christmas period. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip gloss. This is such a cheap lip gloss. I think I got it five of them for about $2.99. I'm just gonna pop a tiny bit in the center of the lip just to hydrate a little bit. So that's it, that is the finished party look and I don't think anybody would guess that you've done your makeup so quickly. This is such an easy look to achieve and it's very, very difficult to get wrong. And I love the lip. I'm actually quite surprised at how much I really do love the lip. Now I hope you'll excuse me, I know this video is going to be a lot longer than five minutes. You've gotta remember I have talked all the way through this and I wouldn't usually do that if I was just putting my makeup on by myself. So I have done this makeup a couple of times and I can achieve it in the space of five minutes. If you are a complete novice, you might wanna double that time and say 10 minutes, but it's perfectly achievable in five minutes. So let's just have a side-by-side -side comparison so that you can see where we actually started and where we finished in such a short space of time. Now, if you have no time whatsoever, the two products that I suggest you shove on really, really quickly are the eye foil from Lottie London because this is quite dramatic even though it's quite subtle. A little bit of sparkle on the eyelids goes a really long way and also the liquid lip. I absolutely love a really strong liquid lip and I think there is nothing that says party more than a red. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. I hope this has given you some ideas for the party season that is fast approaching. Don't forget I'm also on Instagram if you want to follow me on there. It's Pampered Wolf, all lowercase no spaces. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, there is a watermark in this corner. If you click on it, it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye.